Our next question is on collagen from Andrew. Hey Rob, I have a question on a point you made in the Keto Masterclass Module 4. You said that collagen, specifically collagen protein powders, are great supplements and can have many benefits, but that the protein content should not count towards your daily protein intake. I have been making and eating a collagen concoction, a Great Lakes collagen hydrolysate for years as a hydrosylate, there we go, for years as a meal, a second meal in between lunch and dinner. And I've been counting as a third of my protein intake. I understand that collagen protein is not the same as animal protein, but can you expand on this a bit? I remember reading something along the lines of it lacking completeness, not having optimal ratios of amino acids and having some that are unessential. But have I really been short changing myself on protein and should I replace this with animal protein? So collagen typically is animal protein. It's it's just not uh, a rich in the branched chain amino acids and the essential amino acids, particularly leucine, which causes an anabolic response. Now, there is an argument for getting more collagen-rich uh, uh, protein sources, and this is where like eating offal and, and things like chicharrones and, and bone broth and stuff like that are valuable because we have a, an issue with the amount of glycine that, that we're probably deficient in glycine and overly abundant in methionine. And methionine comes from more like muscle meats, uh, uh, Elevated levels of methionine relative to glycine can be pro-inflammatory. That can lead into homocysteine production. So there's good argument. And again, Chris Masterjohn does like a really nice job of unpacking this stuff. Like he 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 does a deep dive as only the Masterjohn can can do on this. So I would do a little poking around like collagen, Chris Masterjohn. He he just does an amazing job with that. But the, are you shortchanging yourself by uh, basically a third? Let's say you're eating 150 grams of protein a day and you're doing a 50 gram whack of, of collagen based protein midday. The thing that I think you're probably doing well is that you're probably getting a nice balance of uh, glycine to methionine. That's probably a good thing. So long as you're, and again, not knowing how, how big Andrew is, if he's 175 pounds, like 100 grams of, of non-collagen-based protein is probably at the low end of what's going to be enough anabolic signaling for him to maintain muscle mass, have good recovery, and all that type of stuff. So I don't know that this would necessarily be like the worst idea in the world, but you definitely want to make sure that those other protein feedings are of adequate protein amounts so that you get that anabolic signaling and, and all of that stuff. So on the one hand, I think that it's probably good because again, that uh, glycine methionine ratio is probably being uh, addressed effectively. Sounds like a super fucking easy meal too. It's like mm -hmm. mix, mix up some sort of pudding type thing and, and jam that down and it probably tastes great. And it, you know, five minutes and, and uh, no, no dramas with that. And it probably doesn't have a lot of other gnarly, you know, uh, uh, not good ingredients. But at the same time, particularly from an aging and longevity perspective, uh, you you want a couple of anabolic pulses a day. We don't want to eat seven meals a day and, and constantly titrate that stuff in. But at the same time, if you're going to eat fewer protein-rich meals, which technically the collagen really doesn't tick that box because of the, the kind of lack of anabolic signaling, then the two pulses, the breakfast and the late dinner pulse, need to be significant. Mm -hmm. And, and so that's the way that I would, you know, kind of noodle on that stuff. I would just make sure that the, the breakfast and dinner uh, pulses are really on point. So would you say that ideally he changes this out to some actual animal protein for the midday meal and then uses this when he's like in a jam and, and you know, needs, some, needs a quick fix? I, we are the crazy people that recommend that folks eat chew real food you know i would love to see something like a can of sardines or something like this but again this is where maybe within his overall lifestyle like this is just super easy and it's enjoyable and and again because of like is he eating offal or other bone broth sources like is he getting other collagen sources and so if not that could be you know how is he he it, in a lot of ways, he's doing good, a good job of getting that balance. I guess you could make an argument for um, maybe in addition to the collagen protein, adding something like a whey protein isolate or something like that, some sort of a, a, 
a protein source that does have those branch chain amino acids, like if he wanted to, to fill that gap. So he's still getting the balanced uh, glycine methionine ratio from the collagen, but then maybe propping up the, the uh, kind of anabolic signaling from a different source. Okay.